ना हम उज्जवलतर कर दीप माय भी टेबिले संकर्ण आलोर चक्रे मग्न हो जे आलोर बीज जन्म दे सुंदर This is that enchanted desk from which Buddhadev Bose arose and then fell asleep for the final time. One of the last romantics whose ideas on life and literature were often misunderstood during his lifetime. Buddhadev Bose a literary genius of modern bengal the most versatile and prolific author after rabindranath tagore there is no literary genre that this prodigious writer did not try his hand at poetry novels drama short stories essays criticism translation children's literature The bibliography of his books runs into 153 titles. Born in 1908 in Komilla in East Bengal, Buddhadev was the only child of Bhudev Bose and Binoy Kumari. His mother died in childbirth the day after he was born, and his father unable to bear the loss left home buddhadev's maternal grandparents brought him up at their house in noakhali up till the age of 13 tini amar prothom jiboner shikshok bondhu ebong krida shongi tini je bhabe amake ingreji shikhiyechilen tar kono tulona hoy na Do you see what I see? A bullock cart. On the other side there is a river. This is a tree. In 1922 they moved to Dhaka living on Rankin Street. Buddhadev entered Dhaka Collegiate School in the pre-matric class. As a schoolboy, Buddhadev was reserved and spoke little. At such a young age, he already showed mature understanding of literary forms. His first collection of poems, Mormo Bani or Innermost Speech, came out in 1924 when he was just 16. Buddhadev dedicated the book to his grandfather to whom he was very close but who had died the same year. He then went to live with his grand uncle Nagendranath. He passed the matriculation of 1925 standing 5th in the examinations. In the same year he enrolled in Dhaka Intermediate College so for the sake of convenience He moved to a house in the Purano Palton or old cantonment area. This house and the journal Progoti or Progress formed the highlights of his college years. He started the journal with a group of friends who included many budding writers. Among them Jagadish Ghosh, Amolendu Bose, Monmothonath Ghosh, Porimal Roy and Ajit Dotto Jibon Anand Dash arguably the finest of the post Tagore Bengali poets published 14 poems in Progoti It also featured some other excellent young authors such as Vishnu De Achinto Shengupto Monish Ghatak Motilal Majumdar Najrul Islam and Jasimuddin At this time the well-known Bengali literary journal Kollol or Waves served as the mouthpiece for avant-garde writers. 
কল্লোল প্রিন্টেড বুদ্ধদেব স্টোরি রজনী হলো উতলা অর দ্য নাইট বিকেম রেসলেস আমার মুখের ওপর কতকগুলো খসখসে জিনিস এসে পড়ল তার গন্ধে আমার সর্বাঙ্গ ঝিমঝিম করে উঠল প্রজাপতির ডানার মতো দুটি ঠোঁট নমনীয় স্নিগ্ধ শীতল দুটি বক্ষ কি সর্বনাশা সেই সুখ তুমি বুঝবে না চার্জেস অফ অবসেনিটি ওয়ার লেভেলড অ্যাগেন্স্ট দ্য স্টোরি দ্য ফার্স্ট অফ আ সিরিজ অফ সাচ অ্যালিগেশনস দ্যাট বুদ্ধ দেব হ্যাড টু ফেস অল হিজ লাইফ দিজ ওকেশন আ মেমোরেবল ডিবেট ইন প্রিন্ট between the illustrious Tagore and the much younger Buddhadev. Adhunik shahit to amar chukhe pade na. Doi baat kakhano jetu ko dekhi, dekhte paai, hathat kolomer abru ghuche ghe chhe. Aami shita ke shushri boli, aamon dhul koro na. Kano kori ne, taar shahit tik karon a chhe. Noi tik karon is thale gyaad jho nao hote paade. Jodiyo, adhunik shahit to taar chukhe pade na. তবুও তাতে হঠাৎ কলমের আব্রু ঘুচে গেছে বলে মত দিয়েছেন আব্রু ঘুচে যাওয়ার বিরুদ্ধে কি সাহিত্যিক কারণ আছে তা রবীন্দ্রনাথ জানালেও পারতেন সে কি এই যে ভদ্র শ্রেণী উপন্যাসের নায়ক নায়িকা হওয়া এতকাল যাদের একচেটে সৌভাগ্য ছিল ও নিম্ন স্তরের লোকের মধ্যে সাহিত্যের দিক দিয়ে যে ব্যবধান এতকাল ছিল তা হঠাৎ খসে গেছে না এই যে রবীন্দ্রনাথ ও শরৎচন্দ্র যেসব জিনিস ইঙ্গিত মাত্র করেছেন আধুনিকেরা সেইটি একটু স্পষ্ট করে বলছেন ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ ঢাকা হিজ ফেমাস লাভ পোয়েম কঙ্কাবতী অ্যাপিয়ার্ড ইন দ্য কলেজ ম্যাগাজিন In 1930, Buddhadev wrote a one-act play, Ekti Mer Janmo, or The Birth of a Girl, and staged it in the Jagunnath Hall of the University. The same year, he was awarded his BA degree, and the next year, his MA. He ranked first in both examinations, and the marks he received set records. 1930 was also the year that saw the publication of his first novel, Shara, or Reply, and his first volume of stories, Obhinoy, Obhinoy, Noy, or Acting is Not Acting. Also in 1930, his first major collection of poems, Bondir Bondona, or Hymns of a Captive, despite reactions against its sexual passion, received appreciation from important figures like Tagore, Aurobindo Ghosh, and Dilip Kumar Roy, the sannyasi singer in Pondicherry. In 1931, Buddha Deb left Dhaka for good to make a living in Calcutta. Kolkata যেখানে বহু ভিন্ন ভিন্ন স্রোতে বিকীর্ণ হচ্ছে মানুষের উদ্যম যেখানে রাস্তার ভিড়ে অনামনিভাবে মিশে যাওয়া যায় যেখানে জীবনের স্রোত প্রখর যেখানে সাহিত্যিকও তার মনোমত সংস্রব বেছে নিতে পারে ইন দ্য বিগ সিটি হি লিভড ফার্স্ট অন চক্রবেরিয়া রোড অ্যান্ড দেন অন রমেশ মিত্র রোড গভীর রাতে আমি চোখ তুলে দেখি পুরনো পল্টনের রাঙা ভাঙা চা উঠে এলো ল্যান্সডাউন বাজারের করগেট ছাদের ওপরে ক্লান্ত নিঃসঙ্গ সুন্দর The renowned periodical Porichoy, or Introduction, edited by the poet Shudhindranath Dotto, 
published a favorable review of Bondir Bondona. 1932 saw the publication of the novel Era, Ora, Ebong Aro Onik, or Us, Them, and Many Others. It was prosecuted for obscenity, charged with depicting love between unmarried men and women. Amar Tolo Purlo, Bankshal Kote, Ebong Tarpor, Lalbajar Police Headquarters. একজন ইংরেজ নগরপাল এবং আইএনজিবি যারা বাংলা জানেন না এবং সারা জীবন হয়তো আইনের বই ছাড়া কিছুই পড়েননি তাদের সম্মুখে আমাকে একটি মুচলেকায় সই দিতে হলো In 1934 Buddhadev joined Ripon College as a part-time lecturer in English He taught there for 11 years giving up the job in 1945 After his arrival in Calcutta, Ranu or Prutibha Shom had also come to the city. An admirer of his in Dhaka, she had performed there in a dramatization on the public stage of his novel, Jedin Putlo Komol, or The Day the Water Lily Bloomed. Buddhadev got acquainted with her and gradually their friendship turned into romance. They married in June 1934 and went to Chilika Lake in Urissa for their honeymoon. The visit led him to compose the poem Chilkai Shokal or Morning on Chilika. Ki bhalo amar laglo aji shokal belai kemon kore boli ki nirmol neel ei akash ki oshodjho sundor যেন গুণীর কণ্ঠের অবাধ উন্মুক্ত তান দিগন্ত থেকে দিগন্তে তুমি কাছে এলে একটু বসলে তারপর গেলে ওদিকে স্টেশনে গাড়ি এসে দাঁড়িয়েছে তাই দেখতে গাড়ি চলে গেল কি ভালো তোমাকে বাসি কেমন করে বলি the couple's first child, Minakki, was born on October 1st, 1935, the same day that Buddhadeb launched the quarterly Kobita, or poetry. The most influential and longest-lived poetry journal in Bengali, co-edited by Premendra Mitra. A number of contemporary poets featured in it, like Jibon Anondo, Shomor Shen, Shudin Dotto, Vishnu De, and Ajit Dotto. Much of what we revere of Jibon Anondo was nurtured and showcased by Kobita. In 1937, Buddhadeb moved to 202 Rashbihari Avenue, which he named Kobita Bhavan, where he set up the office of Kobita. It soon became a famous meeting place for all Bengali poets. His second major volume of verse appeared in 1940, Notun Pata, or New Leaves, which contained love poems reflecting his marriage, including Chilkai Shokal. Before Tagore died in 1941, Buddhadeb went with his family to Shantiniketan to see the poet for whom he had lifelong, unlimited respect and whose work he analyzed so sensitively. For him, it was like a pilgrimage. He published his recollections of this visit as Shab Pechir Deshe or the land where I received all. In the aftermath of World War II breaking out, Buddha Dev joined the Anti-Fascist Writers and Artists Association in 1942. 
and began to show communist inclinations. আমরা প্রোপাগান্ডা বা প্রচার কার্যে নিশ্চয়ই নিয়োজিত করব নিজেদের কিন্তু মনে রাখতে হবে এটাই সাহিত্যের সর্বোচ্চ রূপ নয় সমস্ত প্রচার কার্যই আর্ট নয় শিল্প বা শিল্পীর একটি নিজস্ব ধর্ম আছে While the influence of communism on artists grew, he quietly reverted to his earlier position at the enchanted desk, remaining aloof from affairs around him. In 1942-43, two important novels came out, Kalo Hawa or Black Wind and Porikrama or Peregrination, together with the poetry collection Dhamayanti. Kalo Hawa marked a departure, testing the institutions of religion and marriage. Porikrama used a structural novelty, relating the story of a single day. Dhamayanti, its cover illustrated by none other than Jamini Rai, was Buddhadev's third major poetry volume, more concise and stepping outside the self. A dramatization of Kalo Hawa, titled Maya Maloncho, or Delusory Garden, was staged at the Sri Rangam Theatre and printed in 1944. In the same year, Buddhadev proposed to the Robindra Memorial Committee the establishment of a Robindra Puroshkar for literature, an award named after Tagore that has attained wide recognition today. Meanwhile, Ak Poishai Ikti, or Each for a Paisa, was published, the first of a series of 18 anthologies of poets under that title. Buddhadev continued to review contemporary literature and publish informed criticism. On the 10th anniversary of Kobita in 1945, Buddhadev published a list of 1,800 songs by Kaji Nozrul and wrote that Nozrul remained the greatest force in Bengali lyrics after Shottin Dotto. In 1948 appeared An Acre of Green Grass, Buddhadev's survey written in English of modern Bengali literature and another major volume of passionate poetry Draupadir Shari, or Draupadi's Sari. The following year, his huge novel, written over three years, which many consider as his most powerful, Tithidor, or Auspicious Ties, with its intimate miniatures of middle-class domestic life. 